Okay, so silent. I guess my sort of little spiel about silent is that I think silent, it's the most important of the four characters with her to figure out your, um, like your mitigation plan. Because, you know, Ironclad, you're getting your health back after every fight, so you can kind of take damage to the face. Defect is just naturally going to get a lot of, like, frost and stuff, and, you know, Watcher can just do a billion points of damage. So Silent, because you don't really have any of those things, I feel like it's the most critical to figure out how you're avoiding damage. And sort of the archetypal way is you're getting, like, multiple footwork, so you're getting your dexterity up very high, and then you're playing a bunch of block cards and blocking for, like, 80 per turn. And, you know, if you can get that to come together, it's it's very, very strong. But I think the, the, the first step of going from, like, the baseline level of silence to becoming good at silent is figuring out ways to win runs where you don't get all of that together. And in my mind, there's sort of, like, two big alternate packages that really help you out with that. Uh, one of them is based on malaise, which reduces strength and applies weak based on how much energy you're putting into it. And that's a ridiculously strong card because it's like a permanent damage reduction. So supporting that with things like burst to play it twice or like, um, you know, like a nightmare or something to give yourself extra copies of it so that you can get an enemy to the point where they're not doing any damage is very strong. Uh, and then the other one is Wraith Form, which gives you Intangible, which makes all damage do one, and then it um, drains your dexterity every turn. So basically you just you play that and you're invincible for three turns, and you're either ending the fight or you're ending it like very shortly thereafter to the point where the, uh, the dexterity loss doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, um, I don't have all the unlocks yet. Okay, okay. so you may or may not have Wraith Form. I can't remember if that's one of the... I think that's one of the ones that has to be unlocked. You know, if we don't see it, it's not the end of the world. Um, and yeah. so there's there's sort of like a there is also a, another one as well where uh, um, so there's malaise we have okay you do have wraith form good um, sort of the fourth quote unquote mitigation package is just so if you scroll up a little bit you see that card glass knife mm -hmm. right there that's uh, um, yes. 16 damage for two energy there's stuff like that and backstab which always starts in your opening hand and does like, I think 11 for zero energy. Um, it is definitely possible to have a silent deck that is just so good at burst damage that you don't really need to block that much. Like, your block damage isn't super great. Like, your, your block package isn't great, but you're just relying on bursting things down very quickly to the point where, you know, your, your minimal block will carry you through enough. That's not, yeah. like, the ideal situation to be in, but it can work if that's the cards you're being offered. So yeah, I, I'm I, currently playing... Through a silent just now, I always seem to go for like full on poison. <laughs> poison is a very good source of damage. Um, like, so the card Noxious Fumes is the one that just like adds damage up oh, every turn. Yeah. That's like, that's great scaling damage, but it's very slow. So, the thing with Noxious Fumes is you're looking for ways to speed up your clock. So, that card Catalyst right there is like great. Yeah. That That's yeah. going to be really, really good. <laughs> Um, or, you know, other sources of front-loaded damage, like Glass Knife, are very good. Um, you know, multiple copies of Noxious Fumes, uh, or, you know, um, and Venom or something to get more poison stacks on. Mm -hmm. And so something that's important to keep in mind is not to get yourself stuck in the mindset of archetypes. You can't be like, I'm building a poison deck, and it's like, okay, I've got my Noxious Fumes, now, now I'm done, because... The Noxious Fumes, all it's doing is providing your scaling. It's not providing your front-loaded damage, and it's not providing your mitigation. So it's still important to find those things, because those are jobs that your deck needs to be able to do. You know, if you walk mm -hmm. into, um, like, the Reptomancer fight, Noxious Fumes is fucking awful in that fight, because she's going to summon those <laughs> knives, and it's like, at the end of the turn, it's going to put two poison on an enemy with 25 health that's going to suicide into <laughs> you for 25 damage next turn. Yeah, like, it's, awful. it's literally worthless, so... You know, it's it's good at scaling damage, so it's good at killing bosses, and it's good at killing, like, Giant Head. But you still need other things in your deck as well besides that. Uh, so we're going to get started on level 2? Yeah, that's one? fine. No, we, we can do 2. That's fine. Okay. Jump into this. Okay, so choose a card to obtain. That's not a great option but you know it's something um next three combats have one hp transform two cards for lose all gold 
and the boss relic trade. Yeah. Boss relic trade on silent is pretty good. Like Ring of the Snake yeah, like is this. solid, but compared to some of the other starting relics, is not that great. Like you are, you're almost always trading up when you get a boss relic out of it. So let's look at the map. Okay, so we can um, going up the let's middle see. here. I see there's a two. I see a couple of two elite paths. Let's keep scrolling up. There's a couple of there's a couple of ways to get three elites. So let's look at the campfires next. There's three on the right. One left, one in the middle. So these middle paths with three elites are only going to have one campfire in them, which is not yeah. great. A um, <laughs> it's especially we're, we're having it after we've already fought an elite. So, okay. So what I think we should do here is we should take the boss relic swap. And if we get a very good one, we can take that middle path with three elites and one campfire. If we get okay. a less good one, we can take that right-hand path that has a lot of campfires. Uh, is there a second elite on that path? Hey, no, just the one. Just the one. Just, just one, yeah. That's so unfortunate. Bit... Oh. Um, we can bail out of the third elite up that middle path, though, and take the shop instead of the elite. Let's yeah, uh, look I'm at the, at look, the scroll all the way down. Let's look at the very start of the act um so there's no way to get up that middle path that doesn't involve at least four hallway fights unfortunately i'm kind of thinking that right hand path with the three fires and one elite ends up being our best option here i mean yeah, three I three thinking. upgrades is quite good um that's Can't a very early that. shop Can on we? the left hand path which is kind of questionable we well, can still go kind of up here. I know. Yeah. I, I kind of like the right-hand path with all the campfires, honestly. Or, let, let's see what we get out of our yeah. boss relic. Okay. Okay, fusion hammer. So that makes the campfires <laughs> a lot less valuable. <laughs> yeah. The four energy, that. though, it does make us quite strong. So I'm kind of thinking... Um, Let's see, if we take the left-hand path here, we get a shop, three fights. Well, we could delay to that second shop. That is a rough path, though. That's a lot of hallway yeah. fights and elites. We do have four cool. energy to work with, though. I kind of like... Um... Even if we go like, this way, there's no campfire. Is there... Or... <laughs> so if we go up that okay. middle path, I think the middle path and then going to the shop instead of the third elite is probably the yeah. way to go. Yeah, there's no way take yeah. the take the start in the middle spot and go to the question mark second. Yeah, we'll go up that way. So we'll get four fights and then our uh, first uh, first elite. Yeah, I guess it's tech. Yeah, just dump all the damage. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can just, you can, you can oh, just yeah, play your whole hand here. Yeah, I forgot we had four. <laughs> We've got four energy to start with, which is pretty cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, we have lethal here. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Uh, with four energy, Bouncing Flask is quite nice. The only thing about it is it's a skill and not an attack, so it's a little iffy against Gremlin Knob. That's what but I was um, of. it's just such a better card against. Um, it's really, really good against Lagavulin. It's it's iffy against the Tri Sentinels though because they're going to have the artifact charge. Mm -hmm. um, so the other option is Sucker Punch is pretty good. Mm, I mean, Sucker Punch and Bouncing Flask, I think, are both pretty solid. Like, Bouncing Flask is going to be a much better card as soon as we're past these elites. Yeah, once we, the, since we have the extra energy as well, the on the two costs. Yeah, I like the Bouncing Seems Flask. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we're going to see three other card rewards before we see our first elite. Blue Candle's kind of worthless, unfortunately. Sapphire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to try and go for the heart, we can. Hey. I mean, we can but, take it, so uh, happens. Sure, why not? I'm not too fussed about it. I, I never take Blue Candle anyway. It's not 
very useful outside of some super specific circumstances. So we're going to the right here. Okay, probably just bouncing flask, defend, defend. I love the poison. <laughs> I know, it's so nice. Um, so if you neutralize the oh. one on the left, it'll die before getting to debuff you. And then just uh, oh, yeah. play everything else. And it's killed. Nice. Distilled Chaos, interesting. Um, I think we pretty much have to take Flying Knee. We're we're pretty skill heavy right now, and we've got possibly Gremlin Knob coming up. Okay. We need some more Sounds attacks good. that are front loaded damage. Uh, uh, bouncing Flask, double defend. This guy does scale himself up on some turns, but he hasn't yet, so we can let the poison kind of do its work and block as much as we can. So this is just an attack plus get some defense. So yeah, survivor. Uh, one of these. No, just... um, so what you could have done was survivor and then play all three strikes. The survivor would have full blocked. Oh yeah. And you could have discarded the defense, so it would have been a little more. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but okay. it just uh, would have been a slightly better play. Uh, this is lethal. The poison will finish him off. So, we we took two. No biggie. These are all skills, unfortunately. Uh, mm. Doppelganger is quite good because we have four energy. Although, so, that's going to be, like, really good against Lagavulin. It's going to be mm. really bad against Gremlin Knob. And it's going to be not super great against the, um... Like, it's, a, it's solid against the Sentinels. The the other two are both definitely like strong workhorse commons, but uh, doppelganger like could end up being part of our like game winning engine. And you know it's a rare, so it's hard to turn down. Just because okay, the other ones we're almost almost certainly going to see more copies of. Yeah, you see, see normally like if, if I was playing, I would just go poison because you know I'm a noob and I would think oh poison. I mean, deadly poison's flask. all right, but we do also have bouncing flask already, so we've got a poison yeah. source to work with. I would probably take the doppelganger here. Yeah, just be, like it's it's taking advantage of the fact that we are getting four energy a turn, so it's we can more easily dump uh, energy into it. Um, bouncing yeah. flask, defend, and then strike the jaw worm. Since he's the one that scales himself up, we want to kill him first. Did yeah. every Bouncing Flask go yeah. on the slime? Oh my god. Uh, the so the Fly Knee and the Strike knee. need to go on the Jaw Worm. And... Hold on. I guess the Poison will just go ahead and take care of the, yep. the slime here. That's a That's lot, a lot of, damage. of damage. Okay. Um, okay, so... If we Strike Strike the slime... Then the poison will finish off before it hits us. We've got 16 coming in. Then we can survivor and defend. I think that's that be. that'll we'll take seven yeah. that way. I think that's what we have to do. Hey, no, I don't want to use potion. Okay. I would save the po potions for the elites. Yeah. It's not worth spending just to save seven. Is this no? Hey. You just play everything. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I've got four. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Stoppelganger and... and pass. Oh. Choose whatever form of lethal you want to. <laughs> um, okay, so god, we're getting offered just like nothing but skills. Catalyst is definitely a strong candidate here. Because we've got the Bouncing Flask. Yes. Bouncing Flask Catalyst is like a really, really good... Well, we can't upgrade it unless we get it from an event. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Blur is solid as well. The um, It's just like a good way to sort of smooth out the variance in how your deck outputs. Because, like, you know, it sucks to draw a bunch of block cards on a turn that you're not being attacked. But Blur, you know, if you draw Blur on that hand, you get to play all that block and then have it for next turn. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a good... It's just a good, like, 
smoothing card. Um, Should we go for block there? Yeah, block I think away. I would probably take the Catalyst because it's a good enough skill that we can play it on Gremlin Knob potentially. Like, I'm really concerned about Gremlin Knob with this deck because we have so many skills. I would take the Catalyst, yeah. Okay. It's going to be really good for our yeah. Act 1 boss as well. Here we go. Okay. Okay, the so Sentinels. So. Um, it's unfortunate that we got the Bouncing Flask. Let's, um... We, use it, we could use it anyway to get rid of it. Yeah, maybe play the, um... Play the Distilled Chaos. Let's just see what we get out of it. Alright, well, four free cards next turn is pretty good. Yeah, go ahead and play the Bouncing Flask. It probably won't do anything because of the artifact charges, but... Well, we'll get rid of all the artifact charges. Um, okay, so we want to kill the outer one with the least health. Yeah, so strike him. And once we get him to 20, we can play the, the fire potion and take him out. That's a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards. So I would neutralize the one in the back because it's going to stop yeah. his... Or reduce his damage some. Uh, so we have eight. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> We're probably playing basically everything, but you can strike, strike the one in front, and then fire potion it to finish it off. Let's um, let's see. So this turn we're able to do eight more damage with the flying knee. That'll put one of them to twenty-eight. It probably takes us at least two turns to do twenty-eight damage. So I think let's attack the one in the back. Because we're not killing... I don't think we can do 36 by next turn to kill the one on the left. So let's go for the one on the right. And then just and defend, block, defend. Block. Yeah. And, and can... Oh, well then, I guess... <laughs> I guess we'll just play these two. Well, now I don't think we're killing this one for 22 either. It's unfortunate we drew all those dazes. Well, Bouncing Flask might help, depending on where it hits. All right. <laughs> well, that's um, so strike, strike doesn't quite kill, unfortunately. So defend, strike, just block whatever damage we can here. All right, so he's taken care of. Um, so we can just strike, strike, double defend. Bouncing Flask Catalyst. Oh, sure. That's 18, and then Flying Knee is lethal. Nice. Alright, could have gone worse. Tiny Chest. So we're definitely going to try and prioritize question marks a little more. Wraith Form? Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, click that. <laughs> like, don't even think about it. Wraith Form is one of the best cards in the game. Uh, go ahead and rest. Yeah, I mean, it's... There's no point in taking the, the key, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get the health for the second elite. We, if we do oh, this, if we go, if things go well enough here, we could potentially even um, take the uh, take the third elite instead of the shop. Just um, double ganging here. I mean, um, we want to push strike, damage. I would do the two strikes because we don't have many better damage sources than strike. I would okay. just like double strike and then doppelganger for two. That still gives us a very good next turn. Uh, let's see. We're almost certainly playing Wraith Form. We got six energy to work with. Unfortunately, we have no damage down. Yeah, I think Wraith Form neutralized Double Strike. And go ahead and play one of the defends. Might as well. It's not gonna... Like, he's still only doing one damage. We're trying to kill him within... These two turns, ideally. Uh, go ahead and Bouncing Flask. Strike Flying Knee. We just have to rush him, because he's about to be doing damage next turn, and he's got four extra strength now. Damn, so we need to do 26. Neutralized. We've got 21 in hand. Uh, just play everything. We're blocking for most of that. Well, not most of it, but some Ooh. of it. So we take four, it's fine. He's, he's going to die to the poison before he gets to hit us again. So we actually got out of this, like, very cleanly. Nice. Wraithform's pretty good. Ooh, Vajra's nice. I like that. That's a very good relic. Um. Okay, so now we're actually getting offered attacks. 
Uh, Predator's <laughs> Predator's quite good. Um, because we have extra energy, more card draw is good, and like a way to sink our um, energy into front loaded damage is quite good. We don't have that many sources of discard. Like the only yeah. one we have is the uh, survivor, so I don't really like sneaky strike that much, especially as our deck gets bigger. I'd probably mm -hmm. take the predator, but I don't <laughs> think we want to take any more like front loaded damage cards other than maybe like glass knife. Uh, Ink bottle's okay. like not bad with uh, the fact that we have four energy. Oh, you do prioritize this dude. Yes, because Altus. he scales himself up. We want to kill him as fast as possible. I think you want yeah. to probably wait on Wraith form, maybe for the second time through the deck. So I think just strike, strike, defend. Yeah, bouncing, yeah, bouncing flask. flask. And then just depending on how this goes, we'll probably be double defending. Let's see, we've got six damage. Uh, maybe flying knee the guy in the back and then defend. We'll take some damage, but we need to get this guy down before he scales up too high. Uh, so neutralize, or actually just Predator, the guy in the back. That's lethal with the poison. And, and then just... we've got lethal on the the worm with the two strikes. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, here we go. There's so, small interaction, but um, they were both lethal to the poison anyway, and our ink bottle was on nine. By playing the oh. uh, neutralize, that caused it to draw us a card now, when we already had the fight <laughs> one. You could have played oh. it uh, you could have drawn an extra card as the first thing in your next fight. Um, so another catalyst is definitely strong, as is Dagger Spray. We don't really have anything for AoE. That's what I was thinking. So mm. getting a little bit AoE in the deck, definitely not a bad yeah. idea. I yeah. think you could take Dagger the Dagger Spray for sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always worried about Act 2 AoEs. Oh. Hmm, interesting. So we've got 18 coming in and not much block in hand. The question is if we play the Wraith form, that blocks us for this turn and next turn. So if we play that plus 10 damage off the Dagger Spray puts it at 57. Can we basically kill it from 57 in two more turns after that? Probably no. Mm, depends what we draw. I mean, even Bouncing Flask Catalyst is only, like, 18 damage that next turn, and then 17 after. Yeah. It's questionable. It's a little, it's a little spooky. We do have a uh, Dex Potion, potentially. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, I think you can go ahead and Wraith Form mm -hmm. and uh, Dagger Spray. So there's the Pouncing Flask. Definitely play that. And then Strike Defend. Alright, so here's the split. We definitely want to get it down as much as possible. Um, hey, oh, Catalyst, actually, yeah, it's because it's going to split no matter what we do. So Catalyst, Strike, Strike, and then Doppelganger with the last energy, I guess. Alright, so this split was quite good. Hopefully we can get a Dagger Spray here. Unfortunately, no. Hmm. Well, Predator kills one, and then Strike Neutralize kills the other. Nice. Cool. Um, deflect. If we had some Dexterity, I'd be more excited about Deflect. It's just kind of a... It's a fairly low-impact card right now, and we're not hurting for energy that badly. I think this is... Pretty safe skip, honestly. Okay. Hey, support your so we're at 50. 50. We could definitely take this elite. Like, we're we're good at killing elites right now. And then we'll just be hey. looking to hit a shop like early okay. on next act. I think the Quick elite's questions. better than the shop here. Since we've seen the other two elites, is this guaranteed to be a lagger villain? No, it's just uh, it's 50 50 between the two that we didn't see last time. So each with the okay. first time you see it, it can it's 33% any of the three, and then it can never be the same one back to back. So it just goes to 50 50 on the other oh, two. Right. So yeah, since, since we just fought either... Nob, it's going to be either Tri Sentinels or lagger villain. Okay. Put your start. Should we go this way or? I think so. Yeah, I like. There's there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for shops. We can hit one next act. Okay. 
I would take the elite. All right, Lagavulin, we're happy to see. Um, so you can not really fun. Uh, Flying Knee is doing nine right now, right? Okay, yeah. yeah don't play that. That's gonna wake him no. up. I think just pass. <laughs> what we're really looking yeah. for is um, the Bouncing them. Flask Catalyst. Yeah, there you go. Bouncing Flask Catalyst and then Doppelganger. <laughs> That's exactly what we were wanting. Um, so, uh, let's see. Defend, defend, survivor, full blocks, and then we can play the strike. We're just kind of definitely trying to mitigate here while we let the poison kill this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, neutralize, neutralize is nice. Yep. Survivor, we... defend? Yeah, and then dis discard one of the defends and play the other two yeah. strikes. Let's see, just... uh, lethal is yeah. dagger spray strike strike is lethal. Very nice. Oh, yeah, that was very Zero good. damage lag of Uh, that's definitely okay, better that because of the fact that we're yeah. not able to upgrade at campfires. Ooh, and Venom yeah. is real nice. So is Piercing Whale, though. Um, the fact that, like, Catalyst is kind of our win con right now, I think makes Invenom quite a bit more valuable, though. Okay. Invenom is? Yeah, and having four energy makes um, Invenom a lot more playable. Would have, ni would have been okay. nice to draw a dagger spray here. Yeah, a strike, neutralize, a couple. Yeah, neutralize the one neutralize. in the back. Defend. Defend. Oh, you can play everything. We can play everything. I would go ahead and strike yeah. the one middle in the middle one? just to get his passive off. There we mm -hmm. go. And then hopefully we just draw Dagger Spray and kill these guys. Uh, uh, hold on, we might just play Wraith Form, defend, and take no damage, and then just we're we're very likely to draw uh, Dagger Spray on this next turn. Okay. Oh my god, it's on the bottom of the deck. That uh, is just Predator, the one with eight. We can kill. Flying me. Yeah, and, sure. And, yeah, sure. It was literally the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Good job, Dagger Spray. Nice. Mock Bomb, that's going to be handy. Um, Crippling Cloud is really, really good. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, that's a great, right great now. card. All Out Attack, I think, is solid um, earlier in the run. Like, that's a good early game card. It is AoE, which we are lacking, so it could be good for Act 2, potentially. But, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Crippling Cloud gets poison on everything, too, so I think I, like I think Crippling Cloud is the way to go here. Yeah. It also helps with Catalyst. Hey, let's see. So you could just Predator and kill the front one. Like, right off the bat. Not have to worry about his debuffs, which is nice. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, sure. Just put the two damage cards down. Oh, we got a card. Oh, got a card. Uh, okay. Um, Invenom is nice. I think probably Invenom, <laughs> Dagger Spray, Defend. That's good. It's only taking one. He's still gonna. Yeah. Wraith form. Wraith form defend. Or yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could take one, or you could just defend. I don't think it makes much difference. Just defend. I like playing it safe. <laughs> yeah, that seems good. <laughs> Lethal. Nice. Very nice. Uh, Caltrops, um, I forgot who our Act 1 boss is. Can you check the map real quick? Yeah. Hang oh, it's Hexaghost? Yeah, definitely take Caltrops. He hits six times quite a few quite a few times. Caltrops is very, very good against Hexaghost. And will be amazingly good against um, Book of Stabbing next act. Crippling Cloud again. <laughs> I don't hate another Crippling Cloud, honestly. It's such either. a good card. 
Uh, choke is a lot... Like, if we'd gotten offered that in the first 10 floors, it's a lot better. That's very good as, like, one of your front-loaded damage cards, especially with more energy like we have. But I think we're mm -hmm. moving past that kind of thing in our deck right now. Okay. Crypt and Cloud is? Yeah, that's, that's a really good card. <laughs> We're going to keep enemy enemies like permanently weakened now. Mm -hmm. I think you just probably doppelganger for four. Like, yeah, that seems perfectly no, fine to me. You're... You could dagger yeah. spray and then doppelganger as well. Either one's fine. But I think we're trying to just get a bunch of poison down here. Mm -hmm. Hey, bouncing. F yeah, bouncing flask is pretty good. Uh, Caltrops definitely. Cripple, I mean, we have eight energy to work with. Definitely play oh, like. Yeah, so we do. Yeah, so bouncing flask, crippling cloud. Uh, Caltrops. Flying uh, knee. Probably flying knee and then defend twice. Yeah, I like that. And we really like, and then <laughs> okay, and Venom, Crippling Cloud. That's exactly what we were looking for. We want to build up as much poison as we can before we catalyst. Oh shit! No, it's, it's fine. We're like because yeah, this is Ascension this will... Three. We're gonna get a full heal as soon as the act is over. It's... I do think that... this is a into flash catalyst. Yeah, do the flying knee before you catalyst though. Get one extra. Um... You get one extra poison out of it because of the Envenom. Oh, right, okay. And that'll get doubled. This deck is uh, pretty strong. <laughs> 53 poison. Hey. Yeah, just... Wait, I mean, and we're about to kill this guy and get a full yeah. heal anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Didn't even have to play the Wraith for him. <laughs> hey, attack, attack potion is not bad. You could probably drop the fear potion. We're not really doing that much. Like, our, we're trying to kill with the catalyst, so I'm not that concerned about having vulnerable down. Okay. I think that's a good shoot. Thousand Cuts is going to be pretty strong in Act 2 because it gets us some AoE. Um, so I'm not like mega excited about it, but Tools of the Trade and Alchemize are both quite bad. Um, the thing about Tools of the Trade is that's the kind of card that would be really good in Magic, but it's really bad in Slay the Spire, because you're spending an entire card draw and an energy, and all you're doing is like cycling a card, which you're drawing five cards every turn, so cycling one card just doesn't increase your, your, th your through rate that much. You know, in Magic, where you're drawing one card per turn, seeing one more card is literally That's doubling good. your output. It's just, but it's just not that good in Slay the Spire. And then Alchemize, like seeing like a random potion, like it can sometimes do stuff for you. But again, like we're spending one of our one of our five card draws and an energy to do this, and we don't know what we're getting out of it. Yeah, this is and pure RNG. Um, it can get away. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah. You could definitely get away with it in lower ascensions, but at higher ascensions, like you're just not getting that many turns where it's perfectly fine to waste a card draw and an energy doing something that might help you later down the line, you know? It's mm -hmm. it's it's okay. I've done things with Alchemize that have been cool in some decks, but I just don't like it that much. Thousand Cuts though is gonna help us out a lot with Act Two where there's like, you know, the birds and stuff that are gonna really want AoE, and we're not super strong on our AoE right now. Okay, let's go Thousand Cuts then. So between Envenom and Thousand Cuts, we're definitely looking to pick up some like cheap attacks. Oh god. Well, fortunately we already have an Energy Relic, so we're not like feeling pressured to take Runic Dome. I do like um, this Slaver's Collar. Slaver's Collar is not bad, so like um, Black Star is also good as well. I think it's kind of 50-50 between the two. Like having 5 energy for the Elites and the, and the bosses is decently strong, but getting two elite, two relics out of each one, like either one of these is going to really encourage us to take as many elites as possible. The the slaver's collar is going to make the fights easier. The um, the black star is going to make the rewards we get out of it better. Yeah, I think this deck is mm, decent is... at fighting them already. Like we have the caltrops, which is very good against book of stabbing. Um, We've got the doppelganger for the energy if we really need it. Yeah, I, I think I like the Black Star slightly more. Yeah. 
I say let's go Blackster. Sure. I would probably take this if I didn't already have a energy. Yeah, because... yeah, for sure. I would definitely take the Slaver Scholar if we were on three energy still. Or or the Runic Dome. Okay, so our boss mm. is the champ, so we're definitely looking for maybe like that. another catalyst or like a nightmare so we can get more catalysts and we want to kill him before we drop him underneath the halfway point. Um, I'm not, I don't know if you know exactly how champ works, but basically when he drops below half health, he's going to cleanse his debuffs and he's going to get a lot stronger on his damage output. So sort of the way that you want to kill champ is you want to slow play the first half of his health and set everything up. And then ideally you do something to just like kill him from half health or make it so that the, the second half of the fight doesn't last very long. So if we can right. build up like a butt ton of poison and then catalyst twice and kill him from half health or something, that would be quite good. Yeah, sounds good. Um, I'm going to take a real quick please. bathroom break before we start this act, okay? Yeah, sure. Take your time. All right, what are we thinking on Axe Paths here? Um, I'm, this right side has only only four bowie encounters, and it's got like five question. That is really Plus good with the treasure chest that we have. Yes. That's um, right. that also we can hit that um that shop there. We have four hundred seventy nine gold, which we'd really like to use. And there's the a shop second up shop here. up there as well because we may not spend all of that. So yeah, yeah so starting I'm going I'm going this way. Then. This one friend is going up the right hand side. Yeah, that seems good. We can also oh, go into elite? that elite as well. Yeah. I like that. Um, we don't want to play the wraith enough. form because it's we're no. not getting attacked right now. This is so heavy. yeah, just dagger spray predator. Um, so bouncing flash will it is, it's just going to end up taking off his um, his artifact charges. We could then crippling cloud, which will get poisoned down and weaken him. We will take some damage, but we don't have really any other way to block. So I think yeah. just bouncing flash, crippling cloud. This guy blocks for so much and gets to keep his block. So poison is like a very effective way to kill him because it just goes straight to his health. It's okay. Let's see. Uh, um, so we could, <laughs> if we catalyst, it goes to six, which will kill him in four turns. But we will probably What's get it? some other source of poison. Maybe. If we crippling cloud, that and puts that gets him up to two. seven, and then double it to fourteen, and then yeah, so yeah, crippling cloud catalyst defend. That's as much block as we can get. 
Unfortunately, we're going to take 11 damage. This fight didn't go like super... Oh, 8 damage. Uh, 13 damage even. Because we're, we're frailed. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't great for us. We do get to heal at uh, campfires since we can't upgrade anyway. Um, Ooh, okay, so... Flask. <laughs> so, yeah, probably it. another Bouncing Flask is the direction we want to go here. Um, the Blade Dance is good within Venom. But I don't know that it's better than another bouncing flask is. Quite like bouncing flask again. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, and crippling cloud's gonna be good here for sure. I like the envenom as well. Probably just envenom crippling cloud and then neutralize the the one that's gonna hit us. I mean, it's not doing any damage anyway, oh. <laughs> so they're all, they're all weakened as Probably it is anyway. anyway. We'd really like Caltrops for this fight to be in play. <laughs> um, I think we can... Should we Wraith Form now? Are we killing Gunetic. within the next two turns? Most likely. I think probably just Wraith Form defend. Yeah, we do have two bouncing flasks, so we might get another one. No. Um, so if you just throw the three strikes onto the one that's hitting one times six, that'll knock him out yeah. of the air. And then flying knee. Oh, play the caltrips for sure as our last one. It would have been much better to draw that like on turn one, because this fight would already be over. <laughs> uh, dagger spray is quite good here. And then strike okay. the one that's hitting for 16. Knock him down. And Callus. then, um... Uh, Callus, def oh, defend, defend? Yeah, I think defend, defend. It'll kill itself yeah. on the on the Caltrips. <laughs> it's nice. And then and this yeah, just play whatever. Him. It's dying to everything. Uh, Cloak and Dagger mm. is real good. That's, a, it's a solid block card, and the Shiv is going to be really good within Venom. Um, Calculated Gamble. Calculated Gamble is not bad. That does dig us through the, the deck a little bit faster. I wish we had some Dexterity sources that would make the Cloak and Dagger a lot more appealing. The Calculated Gamble is upgraded, which we don't get to upgrade a lot of cards. I think that's pretty solid. Oh, yeah, 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 I think that's good as well. We got like a bad hand with no, you know, no blocks or something, we can just yeah. throw that down. Oh. Um, do we want Ritual Dagger? I usually take this if I'm in Act 1, but Act 2... So... How much do we want to build up our Ritual Dagger? I think a lot of the times we're going to have trouble killing with it because we're going to be killing with like Poison and Catalyst, so we're we're not going to have that much control over when we kill things. So mm -hmm. the 99 gold when we're about to see a shop, and we'll be seeing a second shop in this act, definitely is more appealing than normal. Yeah, we have almost 600 now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So, we're definitely buying the footwork. That's not even in question. We absolutely want dexterity <laughs> sources. Um, Chemical X, when we have Doppelganger, is not bad. Ice Cream is very good. Oh, wait. Can serve between turns? Yeah, so, like, if you, if you have two energy at the end of your turn, that gets added to your energy next turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm buying that. <laughs> um, okay. I like so I don't think well. Chemical oh, X is good yeah. enough. I don't think that's good enough to spend. Like, we're seeing a second shop. I think I'd rather save our money. Like, Chemical X is okay, but it only affects one card in our deck right now. If we had a malaise, I would be a lot more excited about it. Any thoughts on removing a card? I think I want to save the money for the second shop. We can remove a card in that one if we haven't seen enough. But, like, 
You know, if there's two really good relics in that next shop, we want to have all of our money for it. I think I would just leave the shop with what we've bought now. Okay, seems good. Mmm. Mm. Well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> These guys are probably going to hurt. We can use our smoke bomb if we need to. I don't think we want to lose all of our gold here. No, especially with that shop coming up. And all this stuff coming yeah, up. Yeah, I would fight him if, if we're going to have a bad turn, just smoke bomb. Okay. Okay, so you want to kill the guy in the back because he's going to have the worst. Uh, well, we want to neutralize the front guy, I think, because of the damage. Mm -hmm. But let's Predator the one in the back. See he's got the worst hit. debuffs. Mm. We can block all with... I think we okay, need so to. We I think we need to block. I would survivor and just pass the turn. The venom is nice, but taking eight is not ideal. That's a lot of damage. A lot damage. of damage. Yeah. And we only have the defend in hand. I think we just smoke bomb here. Let's just get out of here. Okay. See ya. That's a very unfortunate event to be seeing. And, like, the relic we get out of it's not something we're that super excited about in this deck anyway. Uh, I don't like any of this. I would just skip it. That's all Act 1 type of cards. Hey, okay, so that's going to be... So this next question mark is going to be a treasure chest. We do have uh, one up here. Yeah. We guarantee the treasure chest. Well, the more tre the more question marks we see, the more we take this up to seeing another one as well. So, That's true. Like, I think you can probably bypass. This. Well, we do get two relics out of the elites because of Black yeah, Star, though, thinking. and we're at full health. I would I would fight the elite. Yeah, let's go for the elite. Okay, okay. Mm. this one is a little scary because we only yeah, have um, crippling cloud and uh, and uh, dagger spray as far as AOE is concerned. So we're playing the crippling cloud for sure. And the footwork. And Let's see. Defend Flying me does nine, so that's lethal on the front one. Uh, yeah, we want to. We want to like. So the way this guy's AI works is if he has one or zero little gremlins, uh, it's much more likely to waste its turn summoning new gremlins. But if it's at two or more, it's likely to hit you, and it does a lot of damage. So okay. killing so that, uh, killing the fat gremlin is going to be definitely what we want to do here. Yeah. So just alternate between killing this guy and this guy. Right. Exactly. Unfortunately, it chose to attack us anyway. Let's see. Seven. Ooh. That's a lot of damage coming in. Yeah. So we need to do a lot of damage to kill that one as well. Let's see what the attack potion gives us. Well, Eviscerate's free, so might as well take that one. It's going to do the most damage. Uh, just use that to kill the front one. Um, I did my math wrong. Well, let's see. If we play, you could, yeah, just strike it. That's fine. Yeah, that's just, that's okay. The question, Wraith form feels 18. really early right now. We're gonna have no dexterity for so much of this fight if we play it right do you have now. Potion to gain the extra two turns. Yeah, that's using up a lot of potions though. I like the Caltrops mm -hmm. and I like the Defend. The uh, see so if we Defend, we're taking eleven. Look at the map. When's our next campfire? It is next. Oh, it's next. Yeah, so we're healing yeah. anyway. Yeah, just play the defend and the caltrops. And then we'll save the two. Yeah, this ice cream. Oh, ice so cream good. makes having extra like <laughs> energy left over so nice. And venom for sure. And venom and crippling cloud. Yeah. And then we might as well calculate a gamble. To see what else we get. Neutralizes. Okay, get an extra weak charge on there. 
Um, I would just pass and ice cream the two energy for next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. We're just kind of like waiting for a big catalyst here. Two um, let's see. <laughs> Dagger spray is going to almost... Well, it will kill the, the one that's attacking for 10 because we have Venom down. So we definitely need to defend because we're getting hit for a lot here. Two bouncing flasks, and hopefully we can maybe get the one in the front down. Yeah, or we could doppelganger. The problem with bouncing flask is anything that goes on the middle one is wasted. But let's play the first one and see what it does, and then we might doppelganger. Or okay, that worked out. Yeah, go ahead and play the other one. Screw it. Hopefully we kill the. Damn it! I was hoping we'd kill the one in front. Yeah, same. So we're taking 18 here, but we are about to rest. Let's see, Thousand Cuts, Strike Strike. Thousand Cuts is going to be really nice once the little gremlins come out next turn. Definitely Dagger, Dagger Spray. That's good, he's dead. Right, so that one is dead. The, the wizard is going to attack us for a lot in a couple of turns, but I think we can kill the big one before that becomes a thing. Yeah, uh, I think we, Strike we Strike Doppelganger, put it all on the, the big one. Yeah, that's... Easy life. Oh yeah, it's fine. Nice. Stone Calendar is not bad. That'll help us out with our AoE problems oh, in some fights. Regal pillows. Oh, that's nice since way. we're resting all the time anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Caltrops Plus is Ooh, pretty good. So if we like if we see um, Book of Stabbing, we're quite happy. Caltrops Plus is. Yeah, yeah. Those other cards are not like really what we're after right now. Poison Stab is like a little extra poison, but we have the poison sources we need. Um, we could take Blade Dance because we have Venom, or we could take Dodge and Roll, which is very, very good with the footwork. I kind of like the Dodge and Roll. I think we're kind of oh, good on our damage right now. We're just looking oh, for yeah. mitigation now. I think the Dodge and Roll. Uh, hey. we want the... We're full on health. Let's take the right-hand path. Ooh. Oh, Letter Opener is pretty good. Pretty, pretty solid. Hey. Take the fight. That's useless. Yeah, that's useless. It's not what we're looking for on this opening hand here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would just strike the rat and then play your def defense cards. It wasn't too bad. I'll see him again. Um, I don't know that we want to Wraith form just yet. The Crippling Cloud is very good. Okay, let's Crippling Cloud. So, uh, let's see. We're getting hit for 14. We can block for 9, so we'll take 5. We uh, play the Defend. We're about to get a card off of Ink Bottle. Let's see what we draw. Calculated Gamble. Oh. We only have one energy to work with. Let's see. What could we? Do? Let's look in our draw pile. What, what are we? If we play that, what are we hoping to draw? Neutralize would be good. That's about it, though. Caltrops would be solid. Dagger spray would kill the rat in the back. Mm. Shall we? Sure. Let's see. Um, I would I'm just play the defense. That wasn't too bad. Um, so play dice. the dagger spray first to get the rat out of the way, and then bounce the yeah. flask, and then the defend. I think. We definitely need the footwork. Uh, the neutralize is going to be good. We're taking a lot of damage this turn, unfortunately. How much, 
Oh, I was just checking on it. This is gonna be a little rough. I think, you need, I think bouncing flask, and then just uh, well, doppelganger will get us the energy for like the same energy that ice cream would have, and we get to draw an extra card. Ow, ow. We need more block in this deck. <laughs> uh, Crippling Cloud will weaken him. And those are the lock. Let's play that. Uh, yes. Um, I guess might as well Predator to get card draw next turn. Okay, he's... Yeah, he's dead. I took a lot more damage, more damage in that damage. fight than I wanted to. What a poison potion. Adrenaline is really good. That's very, very good. That's a great card. And the other ones don't really do a whole lot for us. Like, Acrobatics is fine, but Adrenaline is just better. Zero cost as well? Okay, oh. <laughs> Hopefully this is Book of Stabbing. Uh, unfortunately, no. Um, okay, so I think we probably want to go ahead and throw the Poison Potion on the one in the back. We need him dead as fast as possible. You know, I, I think we're actually spending both potions here. This is a scary fight for us. Okay. Let's Blood Dagger Blood. Spray. Um, strike the one in the back and then block block. And we're taking 20. Ugh. This is awful. Ugh. Let's see, Predator is for hitting for 16. He's still got three left. Ugh. Bouncing flask. That's 15 coming Burst. in. We, okay, we need to play the Survivor for sure. Uh, blo probably discard the Envenom. I don't think we're playing that. Uh, Predator, the one in the back. That way he's on a lethal clock with the po poison next turn. And then just, I guess, go ahead and play the Doppelganger. We'll take five and go to fourteen. Okay, I don't have to worry about him. Um. Okay, so <sighs> we fifteen here. We've got wraith form though. Play the. I think we want the wraith form definitely. We've got the adrenaline. Gets us some some extra energy. Uh, the footwork we're definitely gonna want. Block. We need to block. Yeah, maybe defend yeah, and Caltrops plus. Let's see. Probably bouncing flask. Dodge and roll is gonna Dodge be good. Roll. That's gonna help us block next turn as well. Let's go ahead and uh, just go ahead and throw the calculated gamble down. To see what we get, and the letter opener goes off. Uh, strike the one in front. Okay, crippling cloud's gonna be real good. And then strike, strike the one in front. That'll be lethal with the poison. And then we we're already full blocking the the one in the back. Okay, I think we're okay. out of the woods here. Just um, oh, okay. Venom, nice. then double block. I mean, the Venom's not going to matter, okay. but whatever. He's dead. Oh, dead branch though. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's now we want to. Now we want to be getting like shivs and stuff. Definitely, that's really, really good with dead branch. Very nice. Um, a flight. I think I like dodge and roll better. We have a lot of energy to work oh, yeah. with, okay. and that blocks for us on two turns, so the, the dexterity buff hits it twice. Okay, uh, so Sneko Skull is quite good. Um, I forget the name of that relic on the left. What is it What is it actually yeah, called oh, there? Prayer. prayer Wheel is... Pretty fucking good. That's going to show us a lot of cards, but it does use up all of our money. So there's uh, like Sneko Skull. We could still buy Piercing Whale if we get it. Um, 
could even remove a card reward afterwards as well. But Prayer Wheel... Uh, I don't know. Prayer Wheel is just so good. Mm -hmm. We can't buy anything else if we get it, though. Snackle Skill seems good. Both of these seem good. I really wish we could buy both. We are up to 31 cards, so we're hopefully not looking to add that many more cards to the deck, so maybe Prayer Wheel isn't quite as good. So maybe Sneko Skull, uh, Piercing Whale, and Card Remove. And okay, so, uh, um, we I could buy... We could buy, like, the Attack Potion, or maybe the Discarded Potion. Nickel Skull. What are you looking to remove? One of Probably these just a Strike, yeah. I think if we're buying one, probably Gambler's Brew. That's gonna save us from a bad hand, potentially, against the champ here. I'm really scared about this Elite yeah, we're about to face. <laughs> I think we're just gonna die. Well, three shivs with oh. Dead Branch is really, really nice. Oh. Fuck, I was really hoping it was gonna be a Book of Stabbing. Alright, well, we'll put, um... Let's see what we get off of Dead Branch with the shivs. So, probably we're going for the Fat Gremlin first because it's the most killable. Uh, definitely play that. Play the Thousand Cuts. Shiv, shiv? Yeah. And just, like, see what we get off each time. Um, backflip's gonna be pretty good. Play the Go ahead and play the other shiv. Let's see what we get. Um, we can neutralize the one hitting us for five. Um, probably dagger spray. And then defend. Uh, yeah, probably just defend. Okay, it's only one. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, Go ahead and play the Adrenaline. We might be dead here. Oh, oh Wraith Form that might just definitely save saved our ass. <laughs> uh, Probably, I think Wraith... I think Cloud's gonna kill this dude. Yeah. And, and, and Wraith Form? Yeah, Crippling Cri 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 God Wraith three. Form, I think, is the way to go here. Might as well throw the slice on the big guy. I'm really concerned though, because uh, Wraith Form about to wear off here. Let's see, probably just Thousand Crits and then Crippling Cloud. And then we're just hoping to, uh, well you might as well play it. Another, <laughs> wait, did we get a Wraith Form off Dead Branch? We have a second one? Oh man, well, hopefully we see that on the turn that it matters. Uh, Piercing okay. Whale stops all of our damage this turn. Uh, Predator, the one with... Ooh, all out attack, though. That's, that's a good draw here. Definitely play that. That last... Um... One. I, we need to probably push damage on the big one, so I would Predator the big one and then all-out attack. Oh, Catalyst, though? Um, I think we want to wait a little bit longer on that. I would just all-out attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Um, footwork is going to be good. I would play that. Um, Survivor is close to full blocking. I think you can probably discard the strike. Yeah. Um, could... We could just go ahead and play the Bouncing Flask. Whatever it kills is... Like, if it goes onto the, the left one twice, that's pretty okay, too. Yeah, that's fine.
Uh, definitely the Wraith form. <laughs> that's that's a good time for Wraith form to show up. And then I think Strike the big one. We're just trying to rush the kill on the on her now. I'm gonna. Ooh, I think ooh, maybe okay. Think we've got it somehow. <laughs> uh, just catalyst. Oh yeah. Or neutralize whatever. Anything. Anything will kill. Turn. <sighs> oh, bag of prep is that nice. Was... So that like replaces the starter relic. Ooh, question, question cards. Card? So that I that like kind that. of like replaces the uh, prayer wheel we didn't get. Yeah. Um, Sword oh. of Steel is more appealing with Dead Branch. I don't know how yeah. much I like it, but it's oh, it's a lot better with Dead Branch than it is without it. We we could take it and just have some fun. Hmm. It's it's all right. Do I give it a shot? Sure. Yeah. I I never play Storm of Steel because it's not a very good card, but. This is like as good as it gets. Let's let's try it out. Recall? <laughs> yeah, I think we should probably rest here. Uh, I think backflip definitely. We need more block. Uh, give me just a sec. Somebody's knocking on my door. I'll be back in a sec. Sure. champ um well we can play the shivs and see what we get off wraith form or uh dead branch here dagger throw is not great bouncing flask is great oh, oh okay so it went in the discard we'll well we're gonna we'll, we'll see it later we're definitely happy to see that one let's go ahead and play the bouncing flask oh yeah that's a lot of poison <laughs> Yeah, because of the Sneko nice. Skull. It's really nice. Yeah. We can go in Adrenaline. Hmm. So we could just take the 16 and Doppelganger. Would we have block options? Probably. Uh, so Piercing Whale is our best block option. We could Piercing Whale, Defend, and then just put the Caltrops down, maybe? Yeah. I'm thinking damage mitigation. Yeah. Use some will defend. We do get to Health see a card drops. from Dead Branch when we play this Piercing Whale, so let's see what we get off of it. Quick Slash is not great. Um, yeah, just defend. Um, I'm not in love with the Caltrops because he doesn't have that many multi hits. Um. You could just pass the turn and have the energy for next turn with ice cream. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I want to save the wraith form. So I think just bouncing flask, strike, strike. We're definitely playing the footwork. Probably footwork, dodge and roll, crippling cloud. Save the energy. Oh wait. Nightmare will be nice. We can nightmare the catalyst, hopefully. Without well laid plans, we're just gonna have to hope that it shows up in a hand that is good, but uh Hopefully we get something nice out of it. 
I think Crippling, Crippling Cloud, Caltrops, and then probably just pass and save the energy. And Venom, we're not like it's gonna be a little hard to get through his block with this deck anyway. Terror. We're not really hitting him that much is the thing. We're just trying to build up the poison for a big catalyst at this point. Okay. A uh, Caltrops. Yeah, I and... think Caltrops Bless is fine. I mean five damage is a lot better per hit than three is. Venom I wouldn't even do that, honestly. Because yeah. he's got the Metallicize down. We're having to play like multiple cards to get through his block. Let's see, Bouncing Flask and Neutralize and Dodge and Roll. Alright, so at 210 he will cleanse himself, so we really want the Catalyst as soon as possible. So let's play the backflip and draw a card. We're looking for the Catalyst here. Um, okay, how about... Let's calculate Gamble. <laughs> let's just, let's try the Storm... Well, okay, yeah, go ahead and calculate a Gamble. Because Storm of Steel is going to give us only Shivs, and then we're relying on Dead Branch. I think we want a calculated Gamble for sure. What was Wraith? Um... I don't know if we want to do that right now. I like the double defend more. Just... Or I guess we should have not played the defend and had more energy for next turn because of ice cream. Because oh, we were already full blocking. It's fine. We're going to have eight energy next turn to work with. All right. So here goes the stone calendar as well. Next turn. Uh, adrenaline and hopefully we get catalyst. Well, we can play the footwork. footwork. We're going to want that. Let's um, use your Gambler's Brew, and let's discard all of this, and hopefully we get the Catalyst. Just everything? Yeah. Alright, Bouncing Flask and then Catalyst. And uh, let's play the dodge and roll so we have some block from it next turn. Uh, Predator will draw us mm. cards next turn as well. Alright, so he's going to go to 89, but he's going to cleanse he's himself. And then the oh. um, stone calendar will do... It'll get him down to like 40, so we're all, we've are we almost got him dead. So, uh, this, uh, eh, the same turn. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the ice cream energy than play the strike. Okay. How roots? They were safe. Um, so... Nightmare. Let's see. Nightmare Bouncing Flask gets us a lot of poison. Um, so we are getting hit for 36. How much health are we at right now? 37. So if we just eat it, we go to 9. So we could... Nightmare, Bouncing Flask, defend. Yeah, so Nightmare, one of the Bouncing Flasks. Maybe we'll get something cool off Dead Branch. Um, I don't know if that's good enough to play right now. I would play one of the Bouncing Flasks and then just defend. And then next turn we have Lethal off the Bouncing Flasks we copied. Oh my gosh, just play these. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean he's dead off of just one of them. Just play another one. For just for measure. funsies. Yeah. Sure, why not? Teach my lesson. <laughs> Okay. Hard to say no to another Wraith form. <laughs> Let's have a look at these other cards. Unload and Phantasmal yeah. Killer are not great. Phantasmal Killer is like if you have a like if you've got Runic Pyramid, so that you know that you're gonna have a great hand of attacks next turn, it can be a lot better. Oh, but okay. um you know, Glass Knife is like if this was act one early on, Glass Knife would be amazing, but we're past the point in the run where we care that much about that. Wraith form though, yeah. fucking amazing. The fact that we can't upgrade them makes having a second one a lot better. Uh, um, okay, so... Each, ooh. Oh, it's only once, though. So the thing about Busted Crown is mm. it's really bad unless your deck is, like, already kind of done. And the thing is, like, this deck kind of already is where it needs to be. I would like some more Dexterity <laughs> sources, but we do have two Wraith forms. Um, and getting to 5 energy is going to be pretty good on this deck. We do also have the question card, so we're seeing 2 cards instead of 1, so we're still getting like mm -hmm. 
we're getting some choices in cards. And seeing not being able to see any more potions is a little rough. So I, I think Busted Crown is a pretty okay. solid choice here. We're a lot more concerned about our relics right now than we are our cards, because we already we do already have a 34 card deck. See, adding more cards, you know, we're only seeing anything we add one in seven turns or so. Mm -hmm. So I think okay. this deck, if we get to Donu Deca with close to full health, I think we beat them. So we probably don't want to take too many elites. We do have Black Star, so elites are are good for us, but. Um, well, I don't think we can get more than two elite act elites. anyway. Oh, there we is a three elite one. act option. We could take that path on the right has one elite. Um, is this there a way we can get four question left. marks? If we get four question marks, yeah. we get an elite out of it. Oh, there's four I'm right there. This. Nice. I'm looking at this, and this only gets you. So we can path through one elite and one shop out. And another uh, two question marks? What we got? So, unless we get to eight question marks, we're not seeing another elite out of them. One, two, three, five, six, seven. No, that's a shame. Not quite. Uh, so, nice. if we take that path and we, depending on how we're feeling, we either go into the two elites or go around one of them. We'll see at least one shop that way. Yeah, that seems like a good path. Where's the other shop? Yeah. Um, that second shop there will have a decent amount of gold by the time we get there. I think that's the oh, way we want to go. So yeah, start on the far Good. left there. Alright, let's, uh, let's start with the shivs just to see what we get off Dead Branch. Well laid plans is real good. Um, so we're gonna want to play the footwork. We're going to want to play so the cards. Dagger Spray. And we're going to want to play the Well Laid Plans, I think. That's 25 damage coming in. Uh, let's neutralize the one hitting for 13. Let's see, I think we need to dodge and roll Lifer? and Survivor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with it. And then we can slice. Probably just hit the... Hit the one with the... Uh... Maybe 27. Release? Just get him out of the way, yeah. What a race farm. <laughs> we didn't really want to play what that just yet anyway, so... Uh, yeah. Go ahead and retain it, though, yeah, definitely. We'll hold on to it for a turn that we are really scared about. Or oh, is that retained for the rest of the... It's... You have to... Like, each I, turn you get to pick one card to hold on to. Oh, okay, so we can just keep that? Okay. Yeah, I so... it was for the one... The next turn. Uh, Piercing Whale blocks for 30 this turn. That's a... That's pretty good. Yep, I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, let's play the backflip. We'll get to see a card draw off, or two card draws off of it. Um, I like the blur. Yeah, that's, that's going to have us hold us some block over to next turn. Uh, the Envenom is okay, as is playing the Defend and just holding over more block for next turn. I kind of like the defend and then play a strike. Yeah, that seems that seems pretty good. We'll keep more block and then retain, retain the wraith form again. I like this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> retain wraith form is really, really, really good. Let's start with adrenaline. Oh, oh, noxious fumes. Yeah, play that for sure. Um, let's play the bouncing flask. Okay, then we'll just put one on everybody. Uh, you could just totally doppelganger <laughs> for three, and we'll get a really big hand next turn. Yeah. I don't think we want a catalyst fun. just yet. Too. All right, go ahead and pass, and we'll hold on to one of the wraith forms. A uh, thousand cuts is good in this fight for sure. We got twenty-five coming in. Uh, we can Crippling Cloud at least once to block a lot of that. Let's do that. Good Wraith form. Yeah, but I think Dodge and Roll Dash is going to be blocking enough for us. How much is block Dash is blocking for 12 right now, right? I think it's because of our uh... dexterity should be 12. Yeah, so we full block with Dash, Dodge and Roll. 
Oh, nice. Bane assist. Yeah, I would just hold on to the energy yeah. for next turn. Yeah. Oh, our friend's back. Um, let's see. <laughs> Caltrops. Oh, he's dead. So both of the Caltrops is going to be pretty good. Uh, flying Knee, probably the one in the front. Because the one in the back is going to take a lot of damage from these Caltrops here. And then just play the Defend and the Dodge and Roll. Actually, just go ahead and play the Wraith form. Probably okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. That's, yeah, that's fine. Either one. Uh, I can just uh, Catalyst he's... or Bouncing Flask. Either one's fine. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, it's lethal. Oh, whatever. Um, deflect. deflect where is not horrible, but it's also not super impactful. I think you can just skip. Yeah. I'm worried about adding more cards to the deck. Oh. Uh, I think you lose the neutralize here. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. <laughs> I would just look at the one. Oh. There's not that many colorless cards we care about, and I don't think it's worth losing HP to see more. Mm. Mm. Skills? I don't know. I I don't think that's okay. worth two energy necessarily. Like three skills is okay. But yeah, you could get like double ganger, for example. Yeah, I mean we could get catalyst or something, but the stuff where the skill, only cards we're that excited to add right now are powers. Like we'd really like a noxious fumes. Yeah. We'd really like more footworks, but I think that's about it. Okay. So I would just skip. Uh, I sk yeah, I'm skipping. Uh, yeah, it's going to drop these yeah, question keep going marks. with the question marks. Yeah. Buffer. How does this work? So <laughs> it's the reward you get is based on the rarity of the card. If you give a common, right. all it does is remove it. If you give a uncommon, it just gives you a heal. And then if you offer a rare, you get a full heal plus uh, more max HP. So we could... I don't feel like we're really playing the Storm of Steel or yeah. the uh, Thousand Cuts all that much. I'd be pretty happy with getting rid of either one of those and getting some max HP out of it. I was thinking to get, we're not playing, I was thinking to get rid of Storm of Steel. <laughs> it's so sad that like, this is the best Storm of Steel will ever be, and we're just still not playing it. It's just not a good card. What's 10? That's actually a lot better than I thought. I thought it was yeah, it's, it's a really good event if you can offer a rare. It's, it's very strong. That gives us more to do at rest sites, so that's okay. I don't know how many campfires. We're, well, I mean, we're using it here, obviously, because we're at full health. Oh wait, uh, I forgot that we Big got the key stuff. earlier. It, it, are we able to s look at the map? Are we even able to get to the flaming elite right now? No, we already we already oh, pathed oh, ourselves out of it. I forgot we were gonna try and go for the heart. My bad. No, that's okay. Whatever. So just remove a card. Just take a strike out. I mean, these question marks. Oh, oh, this one's. This so we want to go after the one in the middle since he suicides yeah. himself. Start with the shivs. Cloak and dagger's pretty good. Ooh. Uh, wait, before. You, well, uh, oh. so play the cloak and dagger because we get a shiv out of it and we'll get some block. We, we should have played the thousand cuts actually for all of this. Play the thousand cuts now. Noxious Fumes is pretty good. So we're taking 20. Um, I think probably Piercing play the will? Survivor. Uh, actually, yeah, the Piercing Whale is really good here. Yeah, I'm going to take two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. We should have played the uh, Thousand Cuts at the beginning. We would have done yeah, a lot more I damage did. here. It's too uh, many cars. I didn't see it. Uh, Adrenaline <laughs> is good here. 
dagger spray on clip. So the problem stuff. with dagger spray is it hits the one in the back, and we take damage uh, off yeah. of his spikes. Um, so crippling cloud, yeah. I like a lot. We only want to kill him with poison if we can. Mm, I think you can just go ahead and catalyst. Um, well, go ahead and play the bouncing flask. We'll just see what it does. Hopefully, it doesn't hit the one in the middle too much. Well, that was pretty good. Go ahead and catalyst okay, the one like in the that. back now. And then just uh, dodge and roll to get some extra block for next turn. And then you can backstab the one in the front now. Dead yeah. Branch is doing some good work. Yep, it's doing, it's doing Dead work. Branch is a pretty good relic. <laughs> you know, Infinite Blades, when we've got Dead Branch, is pretty strong. That's yeah. a fr that's basically like 4 damage plus a free card, free random card nice. every turn. I say we go for this. I so definitely like, say we go for that. Yeah. There it is. Oh, well, it's yeah. innate, so it's always going to be in our opening <laughs> hand. Yeah, play that. A uh, thousand cuts as well. Yep. We should play this first. Again. Yeah, we should have. Play the shivs and the adrenaline. Let's get, uh, we can go ahead and play the Slice for free as well. Um, let's see, so we got 30 damage coming in. The Piercing Whale is going to be real good. We're going we're gonna to play the Piercing Whale. Nice. So we got 12 coming in. The Dash blocks for 10 of that. Or we could play uh, the Backflip and the Well Laid Plans, maybe. Then we take 7. I like blocking. Yeah, I like blocking. I think the dash is probably the way to go here. And... So we take two. That's okay. <laughs> and Venom is not bad here, actually. I would go ahead and play it since we're playing. Like we care more about in Venom now that we're playing a lot more shivs. All that attack is solid here. You should play out last, or go ahead and play the defend because I know we want that, and then we don't care that much about these other three. Um, it's flying knees. Yeah, I think so. More energy is probably better than the caltrops. Uh, shiv. Let's. Well, if you can oh, get yeah. rid of the one in the middle, all of the poison's gonna go on the the back one there. You could just strike the middle one and then bouncing flask and catalyst. And now that's lethal. Thanks. Nice. Very good. Power potion. Power potion's really nice. I would get rid of the colorless yeah, yeah, yeah. potion. I think. Maneuver plus. Ooh. That's not too bad. Uh, these are both okay. They're also both not super great either. And we do have a 32 card deck already. I, 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 any any three of these buttons, like I would be okay with <laughs> any of these options, honestly. Do you have a preference? Mm, mm, I'm gonna skip. That seems fine. Yeah. So what are you thinking? These elites shop are... We have almost full, but we will have two elites back to back. True. And that shop, we don't have a ton of money for. I kind of like going, yeah. taking that right-hand path. Sure. We'll take one elite and get that later shop. Mm -hmm. Gremlin Horn's pretty solid. Ooh. Okay. The thing is, yeah. I think this deck... With full health, beats Stony Deca. I just don't want to take a ton of damage on like Reptomancer, you know. Yeah. Uh, play the Thousand Cuts first. Bullshit. Shit. We do want the Infinite Blades. Let's see what we get off the Shivs. Um, we do have to worry about it changing his attack patterns in a way we don't like. Um, we probably want to save the energy for potential blocks rather than the Invenom. So go ahead and play the, the next Shiv. And one more. Ooh. 
We don't like that debuff. It puts a curse in our deck, but I don't think we we don't have any more attacks <laughs> anyway. So we're but just can gonna. Can we move it's... one next turn? Oh yeah, because we have the peace pipe. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. Um, can... So maybe the crippling cloud. I like the crippling cloud or the envenom. They're both solid options. Me. Hey. Let's go for crippling cloud. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So we can take one of these stupid cards. <laughs> Footwork is good, Bouncing Flask is good. Let's do the Shiv first, see what we get off of it, and what it changes his pattern to. 12, Into I like 12, that. I like. Yeah, play the Footwork, yeah. definitely. Bouncing Flask. The bouncing Flask. We're, we're gonna take the 12, unfortunately. Go ahead and play the Doppelganger. Or you could play the Catalyst, actually. Mm, or we could save it for a little bit later. I'm going to play it since our deck's getting quite big. Who knows when we'll see it. Yeah, that's okay. fine. We'll take, I'm happy with the 12. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Adrenaline first. Endless Agony, I guess, like, to maybe change his pattern up. It's basically just a shiv. Shiv again. Uh, ooh, Malaise is gonna be real good. Let's play the Dagger Spray. We need to get him off that 38 damage pattern. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. how much is the strike hitting for right now? Seven, Seven so not enough. Um, uh, so the Malaise would take him down to... So it would go down to 33, and they would be weakened, so it would go... Of course, taking a lot of damage this? that way. We could use a strength potion and then strike. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> let's do that. Let's try that. Well, that's better. Okay, Malaise just got a lot better because it's a times three, though, actually. Yeah, go ahead and play the Malaise. Okay, that's... That's much better. Um, yeah, go ahead and play that. Well. Might as well. Didn't draw a skill, unfortunately. Alright, well, we're taking nine, but that's much yeah, more um... manageable. <laughs> Wraith form definitely it. is the thing we're doing. Let's see what the ship gives us. Actually, I uh, so I was gonna say let's not do that because oh. it might give us the the curse debuff again. But yeah, just just catalyst and be done with it. Yeah, I could have went really bad. <laughs> uh, bag blips real good here. Fire. Did we get the did curse or not? Get... I don't remember now. I don't think we did, we did, did we? Yeah. Oh, we did, yeah, we okay. Did, yeah. What curse did we even get? Uh... Parasite. We lose three max HP. HP. Oh, um, you know, we could just rest and keep it. We have a 34 card deck, so we're only seeing that once every yeah. seven turns. And we keep the max HP that way. You could just rest. Because we yeah, are about I'm to place an rest. elite. Happy with that. Oh yeah, we get a... Uh, I would skip. Yeah. Okay, so I like infinite blades, um, and then oh, yeah. the shivs for sure. We don't care about that. Um. Play twice. We do what we want to save that for when we are like bursting catalyst once he has poison down. Let's play the adrenaline. Okay, so you could um let's see, so crippling cloud. Let's see, if we if we did crippling cloud, that's four poison. And then burst catalyst puts that to eight sixteen. That's I think we want to hold off on that for now. Crippling cloud so you could twice. you could burst and then play a crippling cloud and then the other crippling cloud as well. That's going to be uh, twelve poison and a butt ton of weak. I think I like that. I like that as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Season twelve. Um, so Shiv, just to see what we draw. Burst, uh, <laughs> burst, uh, burst backflip is Ocean? pretty good. 
Oh yeah, it gives us more. Or burst, cards. dodge, and roll. Both are fine. Uh, first part flip. No, uh, try. piercing whale is real good. Maybe I'm piercing whale, cow trips, and then both dodge and rolls for some block next. Or one, I guess, one dodge and roll for some block it's... next turn. Uh, yeah. The shift. Poison. Yeah, I mean, 16 damage for one energy is pretty solid. Um, let's play the backflip, see what we draw. Footwork and then oh, uh, bouncing one. flask are both really good. This is a interesting deck. Uh, yeah. It's just kind of like a pile of stuff that's getting there. A lot of damage coming in for. That is a zero block. awful <laughs> large amount defense. of damage. We could power potion and maybe get a wraith for him, but the chances of that are kind of low. Um, I think we probably just uh, let's play the thousand cuts and uh, we. I know we want to play the defend for sure. I guess we can just throw the corpse explosion on for extra poison. And we just take a lot of damage here. We don't have a lot to do at campfires, though. We have a campfire coming up next. Well, we're going to the shop. Oh, shop. We're going to the shop, shop but we, we get a question mark and then a campfire yeah. to rest at. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. He's dying as soon as we get... Uh... You know, we could, uh, mm. we could actually Storm of Steel on this hand. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. I'll play the after image for sure. That's a great card. And then maybe Storm of Steel. Burst the gain? Would... Um, I mean, I guess burst you could burst prepared? the pre burst prepared, yeah. We don't have much else to do with our energy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh... Uh, might as well get rid of a defend, I guess. We don't need to use it's it. And then just play yeah. the slice. Okay, nice. Well, he's dead. Well, he's about to be intangible, so he's not dead this turn. We do oh. need to full block. <laughs> we do need to full block this turn. So play the shiv. Okay. Hopefully we draw like something that'll block for us. We did not. So we can play the defend, mm. at least. Well, we're still taking oh, three. On. I mean, taking three is okay. But uh, I guess just pass the turn twice and he'll yeah. die. We don't want to play any more cards because our ink bottle is on nine. We want to save that for our next fight. Okay. Pair is really nice. I like that. 90 max no, HP ooh. is pretty sweet. You see pretty sweet? That's gonna. We've only got one more question one. mark coming <laughs> up, so it's not that important. Uh, skip this one's safe. We can definitely skip here. Sure. Yeah, shop. Oh, meat on the bone is pretty good, but I mean, not at this point where we're almost done with the run. I would buy the well-laid plans, and the centennial puzzle is really good too, which we can't afford both. Oof, yeah. I think our deck is big enough. We just leave the curse in and don't care. Okay, well-laid plans. Well-laid and... plans and centennial puzzle, I think. Centennial Puzzle is very, very, very strong. That's a great relic. <laughs> Lose 19 gold for a relic? Sure, why not? I mean, that's not a great relic for this no. deck, but, you know, 19 gold for it. Sure, why not? And I think you just, just rest. Up. Yeah. Yep. No, backflip. backflip Plus that's is pretty good. good. Yeah, definitely take that. Okay, so, okay, we, so we want to start with Thousand Cuts for sure. Let's, um, Oops. we're going to want to infinite blades. I know that. Uh, we can go ahead and play the shivs. We want to go for the one in the back. Yeah, exactly, because he's the one that buffs strength. Nightmare will be good later. Piercing Whale's good right now, actually. We do already have one, though. Um, we're probably playing well-laid plans with that last energy. Oh, that's the day. Get rid of the poison there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it, it's, oh, fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We needed okay, to get rid just... of that anyway, so that poison could start yeah. working. We could play the other piercing whale and take, uh, just take eight, 
but I kind of like playing the well-laid plans. That way we can hold on to, like, a Wraith form. Just take the 20. Um, go ahead and use your Power Potion, though. Wraith form? Um, honestly, I think I would just take the Infinite Blades. That way you get two shivs per turn. Okay. Because of Dead Branch. Like, it's basically getting us two free cards every turn. Yeah, and this, uh... 20. You could go ahead and get the... You could go ahead and draw the, um... Well, it's too late now, but you could draw, oh. you could use a skill potion as well. I would hold on to probably the Piercing Whale. Or the Crippling Cloud. Both good. Yeah, piercing Whale's gonna block for a lot next turn. Yeah. It's gonna block for 12. I like, like Piercing Whale. Yeah, that's fine. Next, coming in. Alright, let's see what we get off the shivs. Don't care about Phantasmal Killer. Next Don't care about card. Dagger Throw. Um, let's play the Piercing Whale. I know we're going to want to do that. Oops. Adrenaline? Yeah, adrenaline, yeah. And then we're probably going to Calculate a Gamble. Okay, we're just going to retain fun. the Wraith form. We could yeah. play the Envenom and the Bouncing Flask, I think. And then maybe a dodge and roll, or the Caltrops Plus, both good options. Ooh. Yeah, I like the Bouncing Flask, and then with our last energy... Um, dodge and roll. Or just play the Caltrops. They're attacking for two every turn, so that's basically like 10 damage coming out every single turn. And retain the Wraith form, definitely. Yeah. Another Wraith form. Yeah, start with the Shivs. Mm -hmm. uh, the Crippling Cloud's real good here, because it's going to get weak down. 18. Never. I don't think we want a Catalyst just yet. We could play... Let's see what the Bouncing Flask does. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Um, we could just defend... Oh, it's only blocking for 5, though. That's not great. You could just play the Outmaneuver and have a really good turn next turn. It'll be 8 energy to work with. Or, sorry, 7. It's not upgraded. Just take the 18, we'll go to 38. But we do have a Wraith form we're retaining, so we get to just, like, decide we're not taking damage in whatever we want. Yeah. Okay. Shivs. There's our footwork, finally. Thank you, Spanks. Those were not great. Um, let's, let's do the footwork, and then probably the backflip. Yes, I don't taste. know that we necessarily want a Wraith form quite yet. Quick Slash does draw us a card, so probably play that on the bat guy. We do have Invenom, so it's getting a little more poison now. More days, nice. <laughs> um, um, probably just need to defend and then strike the one in the back. And then I think you can just uh, maybe outmaneuver and pass the turn. Retain the Wraith form. We're just looking for our Catalyst to come back now. There it is, coming in. Uh, now we can probably go ahead and Wraith form, because we will be killing at least the back one pretty soon here. Let's see what- let's, let's hold off on that for just a second. Uh, play the Bouncing Flask. Shivs? Yeah, well yeah, play the mm. Shivs and the Bouncing Flask and the Backflip, see what all we draw. Uh, you can play the Prepared and, like, pitch the Parasite and get a new card. Masterful Stab for five, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Perfect. Probably not worth playing that one. Uh, you can play the Backflip. Hey. Well, there's Ooh, the Catalyst. Wow. Um, let's see the Bouncing Flask and what it does. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. I like that. So we can catalyst the one in the back, back, I think, yeah. 
He's dead. He's not gonna do any more damage to us. Yeah. They um, maybe escape plan. Working. Escape plan is free. Um, do we want to wraith form now? We are blocking for a lot of this. You could play the two defends, and then we're only yeah. taking three. So yeah, not it's not worth wraith yeah. forming yet. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna do this. Um, I, would just... I think you just pass the turn and hold on to the wraith form. Keep the two energy for uh, from ice cream. Okay, we can just leave him to die. Yeah, he's gonna die, him. so now we just shiv the front guy. Leg sweep gets gonna... some weak onto him, if nothing else. We've got another card as well. I, th I don't think we're that really worried about it, because we'll just... We can just wraith form next turn, and he should be dead before uh, it becomes an issue. Yeah. Go ahead and backflip keep... and quick slash just to see some more cards. You can dagger, dagger throw even as well. Uh, actually, hold off. Let's uh, let's bouncy yeah. flash doppelganger. Hey. Hopefully these go on the front guy. Some. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. Well. Whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. I would just doppelganger pass. I'll well, slice might as well. In a wraith form. <laughs> Two wraith <Boom>. forms. <laughs> Oh, might as well shiv. It, yeah. Well, we've had one wraith form, yes. But what about second wraith form? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's see, crippling cloud, um, definitely. Honestly, you could just throw both wraith forms down and let the poison do its job and be invincible. I'm just gonna do that. Why not? Why not? Retain a daze. Yeah, and he's dead to the poison after stone calendar anyway. <laughs> Easy life. Alright. That was an odd deck, but it got there that somehow. Was, it was looking very sketchy at the end of Act 2. It was really touch and go there in that second Gremlin later fight, but uh, Wraith Form was good enough. Oh. Yeah, so like... This is a good example of how, um, like, the fact that we didn't, you know, we, we weren't just like, oh, Noxious Fumes plus Footwork, like, the, uh, sort of the obvious silent deck. It was more like we were just taking cards to answer our current problems and, like, speeding up our clock with Catalyst and stuff like that, and it still managed to get there anyway. <laughs> we got lucky with some uh, reform pools as well. I think it was one of the fights in Act 2 we got in a second reform. Where we needed it, I think, I think we played that. Yeah, that's true. Weird. That's true. I mean, it's we did get lucky, but we also put ourselves in positions to where luck could save us with our choices as well. Yeah. So, like, that's that's one of the things you have to do is you know, you're gonna have to get lucky sometimes, but making decisions so that you get yourself in the best position to take advantage of your luck is an important thing to do as well. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, that was good. Good run, yeah, good run. That was very good. Um, did you want to do another one of these tomorrow, potentially, or are you available? Uh, I might be available tomorrow. I'll let you know. Alright, cool. Did you want to do, uh, who, which character do you want to play if we do one? Uh, I'm not sure. Give me a think. I'm thinking maybe just do an uh, Ironclad. Alright, cool. Me... Sounds good. Yeah, I'll just let me think. know. I'll have a think. Hit me I'll up do. and we'll uh, maybe do one. Alright. That was fun, was my good. friend. It was. Thank you. Alright, I'll get this uploaded as soon as I can. Yeah. Awesome. Right, have